optical art. Okay guys, this is a quick tutorial showing you how to do simulation trades on BitGit. So if you watched the last video, I showed you how I was able to get custom charts into the BitGit exchange platform so you can trade the actual chart without having to refer to you know, a separate chart outside the uh, platform. I'll put a link up to that video now if you want to check it out. So I just want to show you, um, so this is just about simulation trades. It's the same as doing you know, regular futures trades, it's just when you do it, um, it's a, you're under simulation and it shows a USDT. So it's, it's a simulation USDT. So I'm just going to show you how to do a market order just to get into a long position, a short position. Uh, by the way, if you want to access all these charts, you can on my website. The website is opticalcrypto.com. Link will be pinned in the first comment in the description. And also have my BitGate affiliate link if you want to use that to sign up. And you'll also be able to copy my trades when I start allowing people to copy my trades soon. And again, guys, in Discord and on the website, I have the coordinates so you can get these charts into the BitGit exchange to trade. So I'm just going to show you a basic thing. Again, I'll do a more comprehensive uh, tutorial later on. But again, I do suggest that you do sign up and, and play around with simulation first. This is a simulation USDT futures demo that allows you to do Ethereum and Bitcoin. And this way, you know, you'll get, you'll get comfortable with using leverage. You'll see how much you could have made, how much you could have lost. And when you get proficient and you understand how to use it, then you can actually use the actual USD futures where you actually, you know, deposit your money and you're playing with real money. So let me show you how this will work. So, again, I've already imported this, uh, this uh, Bitcoin chart right here into the uh, BigGit platform. So notice we came down and we found support. Again, the charts I create, your support and resistance level levels already mapped out. So notice we came down and found support right here at uh, 41,896. So it would have been ideal as, as soon as price came down and hit this point, that's where you should have longed or bought in. But just to show you how this would work, so let's say the price was just now hitting this point. So you would set your leverage up here, right? So uh, let's let's do 25 times leverage. I'm hit confirm, and you can see right now I have uh, $2,868 of SUSDT. Again, this is pretend money. Uh, right here, um, so I'm on market. So that means when I hit buy, uh, whatever the price market price is, that's when it's going to buy in. And if you notice right here, so it says take profit, stop loss. Guys, always use a stop loss. So you'll notice, like, so right here, this white line is our strong support, right? Right around 40, 41,912. So I'm recording this video after the fact. I would have bought in right at this point when we make contact with the line. Sometimes it would go below, guys. It depends on your risk tolerance. Sometimes it comes below, wait till it pushes back up. But you can see we're above support right now. So if I was going to do a, a market order or a long, I would have my stop, so let's grab a horizontal ray here. So I'm going to put my stop just below the previous wick and below support. That is right at 41832 So that would be my stop price, 41832 uh, Let's see, 832 So that way if price drops below support, you know, price could start dropping lower. This will stop me out and protect me from losing, losing a lot of money. Take profit. So if price continues up, well, we know our next resistance above on this chart. We got double resistance up here around uh, 42,578. I would like to take profit a little early. So I'm going to set my take profit at 42,480. So 42,480. And how much do I want to buy? So I have it on USDT. You could have it on Bitcoin. So I'm at 25 times leverage. I'm going to risk uh, $300. It's going to cost me $298 to enter this trade. I assume that's what it says cost down here. We're going to go long. So again, my stop is 41832 where this blue line is. My take profit is going to be up here at 42480 So if it comes up to this point, it's where I'll take profit. So I'm going to go buy long, right? And it's just where you confirm. So this is my actual position right here. Uh, let's see here. This light version show current. So this is my trade right here. And currently I'm in profit. And you can see this this uh, dotted line is where I bought in. So what happens is if, if, if price drops down, I'll get stopped out. If it drops to this point, as long as I'm above this point, I'm in profit. And when it comes up here, I can take my profit. You can actually edit your, um, your, your trades. So you can go down here. Bear with me, I'm still learning this exchange too. So you can actually go in and you can edit. Um, let's see here, market order. 
this is your this is take profit this is stop loss so you can actually edit stop market order ex okay stop market orders execute when the stop stop profit loss price is reached understand so you can actually change your uh, stop loss and you can change your um your take profit and you can also get out of your trade at any point but I just want to show you how that works uh, so I have uh, another chart for uh, on BitGet for Ethereum this is Ethereum right here you can see we're at resistance this is the Ethereum chart and again guys I have the uh, coordinates for these uh, set up on the website so if you want to sign up for BitGet you can get you can actually get access to the charts you'll have the live charts but then you can actually get the coordinates so you can bring it into the exchange so for instance um all of these elements you can bring in i i, I can't show you the elements because you have my chart but for instance this fib channel line right here you notice there's a i have a trend line here right so basically it works the same for any element whether it's a fib circle fib channel or just a trend line if you right click on it and you hit settings you notice right here you have a coordinate box. So if, if I just take a random trend line, just draw it, it's going to be yellow, and I click on the, this little gear icon for the settings, you got a coordinate box. So I'm going to copy these coordinates, paste them in here, uh, copy this, paste it here, copy this, and then the last one, and then paste it in, and you'll see that trend line completely matches up with this FIP channel. So that's how you get the charts into uh, BitGit which makes it very convenient. So again, so you can see uh, Bitcoin was at support to potentially push up. That was this chart here, right? So Ethereum is at resistance. So this would be an ideal point to short. So if you're going to short, it's almost the same thing. So we're at resistance right now. So again, this would be an ideal point to short. So what I'm going to do is we're on market. So let me do a horizontal line here, a little ray. So I want my stop to be above this previous wick. So this, this is strong resistance. Let's see, on this chart here, I'm going to show you. So this is going to be strong resistance right here. So I want to make sure I have a stop above that point. So if we're going to be shorting, so I'm going to do 300, right? And it's going to be market. And we're going to do short. And we're going to do our take profit and stop loss. Since we're going to be doing a short, our take profit should be down here. Because this is the next support level below down here around $2,817. So our stop loss is going to be right here. So stop will be 2,867. So 2,867, and then our take profit, we'll just do it 2,820. So now when I go short, so if price pushes up to this point, 2,867, it'll stop me out. I won't lose any more. If it drops from this point where I buy in, I'll be in profit. So 2,820 is going to be uh, my take profit down here, which will be right here. If it pushes up, it'll stop me out at this point. So sell short, 20 times leverage, and confirm. So the order's in. You can see you've got your order set up. And basically, you can just see how they play out. Uh, so right now... Uh, we're just kind of Bitcoin just sitting there going sideways. But again, if, if we push up, I'll be in profit with Bitcoin. And for Ethereum, if we continue down, I'll be in profit. So I'm going to let this uh, play out for just a bit. And then I will, uh, I'm actually going to stop the recording, let this go for a bit. Uh, currently, you can see, um, so after paying to get into these trades, I'm at $2,318. And I have two windows open, which is, which is kind of convenient. So we'll see when I come back, we'll see how well these trades played out. Okay, guys, a little bit of time has passed. So I just want to show you how this played out. So my Ethereum trade got stopped out. Let me show you this. So this is Ethereum. So Ethereum pushed up. It hit my stop loss. I got stopped out. But that's a good thing because if Ethereum continues up, I would be way, way into the negative. If you don't use a stop loss, guys, you're setting yourself to get it wrecked. By the way... Just, just so you know, I was. This isn't something I would normally do. This was just for this video, but I longed um, Bitcoin at support. Typically, if Bitcoin's pushing up, Ethereum is also going to push up. That was just to show you how to put in a short and put in a long. But the point is, um, if 
if you see Ethereum and Bitcoin not support, you'd want to long both. But either way, so Ethereum, uh, you can see here, Ethereum did push up, got stopped out. It's continuing up right now. Had it continued down, I would have been in profit. My Bitcoin trade is still in profit. Now listen, I, I did close my trade. I was trying to find out how to close my trade and I could not figure it out. I actually recorded a video, but and I deleted it. I was going to put it back up, but that's why my position was open. I already closed one because now I know how to close the trade. It, I tried I tried clicking on um, take profit, and there's I've got to play around with this, guys. I'm still learning how to use their program. But if, if you do want to get out of a trade, I'm, I'm in profit right now. It's not real money, so it doesn't matter. My take profit is up here. Obviously, if it drops down this point, I'll get stopped out. You see currently I'm up um, almost 12%, continuing to rise. It's not real money, so who cares if it pushes up? But just to show you, so if you want to get out of a trade, so you can see your open orders. They've got information here. But if you click on position, you can go light version right here. Uh, you can do this This version right here shows you um, your position, your close amount, fair price, has all your info, info here. But if you want to get out of your position right away, just click on this. This gets out at market price. So click on that. <clears throat> um, I... 25, 50%, I guess this is how much you want to get out of your position. Um, I'm just going to hit confirm, and this gets you out of your position, and you're, you're out of it. So again, just to show you how that works, uh, so again, so let's go to Ethereum. <laughs> you see Ethereum is pushing up. So look, I'm going to enter a long trade with Ethereum. Just to show you this one more time. So let's say we're above, we're above um, support right now. So I'm going to set my, um, my stop down here at 28.54, right? So... 28.54, right? And I'm going to do my take profit up here at uh, 29, 2,900. So I'm going to get 2,900. Oh, that's a big number. Hold on. 2,900. All right, that's my take profit. It's better to do it when you're right at support. So I'm going to buy long. So I'm going to do $300. I'm going, let's go up to, screw it, let's go 40 times leverage. Let's go all out with this fake money. All right, so I got my stop set at 2854 Take profit, 2900 $300 at 40 times leverage. And I'm going to buy long, and here we go. I got my other position in. So we'll see how this plays out. Actually, I'm not, I don't know that I will keep it going. But if we come out, you'll see I get stopped out right here. And just to show you again how, how this works, so just... I'll let you have this fib circle, guys. So I'm going I'm to delete this fib circle. There is one issue. Now, I, I am going to be creating charts, all the altcoin charts. I'm going to be creating hex. Um, there's so many different requests I've got. I'm going to have BCH, Litecoin. I, I'll just go through all of them. I want us to have as many altcoin charts as possible. There is one issue, though. I noticed that if you, when, when you're under USD futures, that's when you can choose all the different altcoins. But I notice if you click on one chart, for some reason, if you have negative values um, for, an, for an, an element in here, and then you click from one chart and go to another chart, for some reason it defaults back to zero, which screws up the chart. That's why I have multiple windows open. So guys, if you want to import custom charts into um, the BitGet Exchange, for now, if you're doing Ethereum, have one window open with uh, Ethereum. This is Bitcoin. Have another op window open with Ethereum. Import your chart in. And if you want to do a chart for, let's say, um, I don't know, BCH, open another window for BitGit and have your your um, your BCH chart there. That's, that's the only way I found out so to, to make it to where you won't lose your settings for your charts. It's kind of a pain in the butt, but I did contact... Um, bit get to try to resolve this issue and they're pretty good about getting back to me and i'm going to see if they have a way i asked them if they can make it where i can just import the entire chart <clears throat> where you can just copy from right here and paste it in and make it a lot easier than in importing coordinates but i do have the coordinates available on my website so i didn't want to cover that so i'm in a trade right now let's see here i did go long i should be in profit here on my ethereum trade oh i'm right below it right now but again, just remember guys, you click on light version, if you want to get out of your trade at any point at market price, just click on this little, looks like a little lightning bolt, that'll get you out of your trade. My Bitcoin trade is, <laughs> I entered again just to show you, but again, if you would enter down here to support, you'd be in profit. 
Um, I think that's pretty much it. Again, next time I will do a, um, a more comprehensive uh, one. I'll show you how to do a trigger price. And again, that's where you would set your price, where it would you would set your trigger price and your execute price at a certain target. So if it comes down to that point, it would execute, and you would still set your stop. So that way, if you can't be around, it'll automatically set it up. But next time, we'll cover that. But I did want to show you so how I can bring this FIB circle in. So this is the Ethereum chart right here. So let me go back to Ethereum. Oh, I'm in profit, 4%. It's pushing up. <clears throat> so basically what you would do is uh, the tools are over here on the left. So I'm going to do a FIB circle. Actually, let me delete the FIB circle here. So I'm going to delete this FIB circle. Just show you how to bring it in. It's pretty simple. So I'm going to take this FIB circle right here, and I'm going to right-click on it. It's pretty cool getting these into the to the um, actual trading platform. So I'll do a random FIB circle like this. And I've got my coordinates. You click on the little gear icon. I'm going to copy coordinates from my chart. And make sure you get the negative, guys. If there's a negative, it needs to say negative. So, and there you can see <clears throat> the FIB circle that I have on this chart matches this chart completely. And right now, I'm up 24, 25% right now on my uh, Ethereum trade and on my Bitcoin trade I am up 23 percent so guys the charts are accurate for finding support and resistance again this is the Bitcoin chart this is where I told you to buy in at 41,900 or long and I did say right here to short but again that was just to show you that how you put in a short obviously if Bitcoin's pushing up chances are Ethereum's going to push up as well now if this was a real trade I would be doing pretty well right now. I would be up 31% on my Ethereum trade, and I would be up 34% on my Bitcoin trade. You see he's pushing up right now, 2,604, 2,607. So guys, it's that simple. Again, I would do market trade for, for now. Um, soon I will let you copy my trades. I'm, I'm starting to learn this program, feeling more comfortable with it. I just want to make sure I'm comfortable with it and, and, and you're comfortable with it before you start actually doing live trades. And remember, this is simulation. Make sure it always says at least SUSDT or SBTC. That means a simulation. It'll be simulation here. Once you click on this, guys, you're playing with the real money. And I'll do another video that'll show how or show you how to bring money in or transfer funds in. And we'll go over all that stuff. But the most important thing, guys, is we can get custom charts I create. You can get it into the platform, and you can trade the hell out of them. Expect a bunch of charts up. <clears throat> I'm going to get out of this right here, guys, and when I come back, it'll it'll screw it up. But I just want to show you, show you. So if I click on uh, USDT futures and go next, next. So you can see, so we've got, so the next one I'm going to do, I'm going to do XRP, EOS, BCH, Litecoin, I'm just ADA. I'm just going to knock them all out. So we'll have all the charts to bring in. But I am curious, if I go back to futures, all right, so now the now the chart is gone. The Ethereum chart is still here. So again, that that's what I'm saying. Some of these are messed up now. So when you import the charts in, make sure you're already in. So if you're going to start doing futures trades, you'll need to you'll need to import the chart in. So this this is live trades. I've got zero funds in here right now. I'd have to deposit my um, USDT. This is real money. It's the same way I just showed you under simulation, but simulation is just so you can get an idea how it trades. Let's see if I click on Bitcoin. Yeah, that's, it's still set up. So again, I'm, I'm talking with, Bit, with BitGet to make sure that um, they're going to make sure that these negative values don't go to zero, and they're going to find a way for me to import these uh, charts a lot easier. But for now, we do have a way to do it, which is coordinates. But guys, that's pretty much it. If you do want to access these live charts, the website is optworkcrypto.com. That link will be pinned in the first comment description. And if you want to sign up for BitGet, uh, use my affiliate link. It's going to be pinned in the first comment, and it'll be in the description as well. And if you do use that affiliate link, guys, you'll be able to copy my trades soon. Uh, as soon as I get about maybe four or five more altcoin charts up, then I'll start sharing my trades. I just want to make sure I have a lot of options. I mean, I want to wait an hour until I put in a trade. So if I'm going through five charts, chances are one chart will be at resistance, one chart will be at support, so we can buy in a long and short, and I might do a live stream when we do one of those actual trades. But guys, that's it to the next video. Trade safe, trade smart. I'm out.